Are you tired of looking up sold comps on eBay and just seeing uh, crossed through best offer accepted just like this? Well, I'm going to show you how to find the sold price, the exact sold price of any sold item on eBay uh, using your computer or your phone. A lot of people don't realize these tools are available to them. So let's go to the computer and I'll show you more. Right now you have to have an eBay account to actually access this. Uh, so uh, if you go into your eBay account and you go to your seller hub and you'll see a bunch of options up here, go all the way over to research and go to product research. This is where you will uh, enter in the information you're looking for. Uh, so here I have, uh, I can research products. So I type in any keyword that I want, select the time uh, window that I want to look at. I can do like the last seven days. I can do the last three years. Um, I can do even a custom where I can basically just pick the time that I want. Um, so let's uh, go ahead and let's look at some t-shirts. This is how I actually do uh, our weekly video heat check. This is one of the tools that I use to confirm sales. So let's just go uh, look up sh shir uh, shirts right now. Um, right here, we'll just look up shirts for the last 90 days. Um, and we'll see uh, all kinds of stuff pops up. So <laughs> if you just search something super generic like this, tons of stuff is going to pop up. But there's a lot of good information here. You can see like average sold price of a shirt is $23. Uh, and it ranges from a sales range from a like one cent all the way up to $24,000. So uh, let's just see what is that. What's that $24,000 sale? We can go here and click on average sold price and sort by highest to lowest. And that is not a shirt at all. It's a Ducati. Uh, so uh, sometimes weird stuff sort of gets in the mix. So you just kind of have to be aware of that and that's fine. But down here you can see like the Tiger Woods signed autograph. So last 90 days. So they will actually have information on this. Um, so that's pretty cool. Tiger Woods signed autograph shirt. Uh, but this is how I do uh, all the research that I'm looking for uh, for uh, heat check. So let's, let's go to a normal search real fast and let's type in... Uh, let's look up uh, Nirvana, a uh, vintage Nirvana t-shirt, a uh, vintage Nirvana t-shirt. And let's see if we can find uh, something that we want to look for. So here's all the search results, but we're going to go down here to completed. This is probably how, or to sold and completed. This is probably how you're used to looking up comps. You can see, oh, uh, one sold for 120, 89, stuff like that. Here's one sold for $1,700. Let's sort from highest to lowest again. You can see here we have a Nirvana uh, heart-shaped box tee that that says that it sold for you know uh, best offer, but we don't know what that best offer was. So what we're gonna do um, is actually click on here and see that this has actually been relisted. So somebody. Uh, did not actually end up paying for this. So we'll go ahead and get rid of that. We're going to find something that somebody actually paid for it. So let's take this one right here. Uh, look, another one not paid for. We're actually going to use this. We're going to go click on here and confirm. Well, actually, we don't want to confirm that. Um, so let's go and find another one. Let's see uh, if it says that one has actually been paid for. Here, this one says it sold on November 6th. So let's take a look. Did this sell for $5,000? According to this, it did. What we can do just to confirm that uh, so that you can see how it works is go back and we'll type that exact type that exact uh, uh, that exact title in and hit research. And we can actually see that we couldn't find any sold results in the date ranges you selected. So they switched to just showing what active listing. So that item didn't actually sell for that. Uh, didn't actually sell at all. So that's uh, one way this is also very helpful. Let's see if we can find another uh, here's one that says it was sold for best offer. Let's click on it, see if it's been relisted. It said it has sold. So let's go ahead and copy and paste the, and we're going to copy and paste the title. And we're going to take that title straight to the research tab and see that the offer that was accepted was for $2,000. This is the actual sold price. You can see one item sold, item sales, $2,000. This is the actual sold price for this individual t-shirt sold on October 4th, 2024. You can do this for any um, item that has a cross through uh, best offer accepted uh, sale on those comps. And um, this is a good way uh, to find accurate information. These sales will be correct. Um, that doesn't mean that these sales aren't fraudulent or they aren't um, 
Uh, they aren't like a scam or somebody like uh, trying to launder money or something like that. Uh, but it does mean that a transaction actually did happen at some point. So uh, that's what's really helpful about uh, this tool is you can actually see what someone did pay. Uh, so that's helpful. Now you can do all kinds of research. I'm not really here to uh, show you how to do all use how to use all the different tools here for research. But uh, there's lots of cool stuff here. You can go to vintage uh, Nirvana T uh, uh, shirt to T shirt um, and just look generally the last 90 days. Uh, you can see that it brings up the graph of, of the average sold price for the T shirts. Now that's not entirely important here because you're going to have a lot of uh, low-end Nirvana t-shirts that aren't actually vintage sell like for two dollars fifty cents, but you can see the highest range here in the last ninety days was one sold for four thousand fifty dollars. Let's go take a look at that, and that is an in utero long sleeve t-shirt used. Uh, it went in auction uh, after nineteen bids and it sold for four thousand and fifty dollars. Uh, so uh, that's pretty helpful. There's a lot of information here. Like you can look at like the total sold, like the volume of a certain item, like uh, how many. Um, items with vintage Nirvana t-shirt in the title and in the details uh, have sold. You can actually see there's like a declining trend. So uh, Nirvana sales, the number of sales actually be going down. Uh, you can actually look at the uh, uh, here uh, average sold price. Uh, it's stayed relatively uh, stable, but this is going to be really throw it off because uh, all the different varieties. Now uh, you can look at the distribute of the listing prices. Obviously, most are gonna be in that $2 to $400 range just because there's so many reprints. But uh, lots of good information in here that you guys can use uh, wherever you want uh, and however you feel like is necessary for your business. It can be really helpful for research. Uh, but this is how I check and confirm uh, uh, sale prices of best offer accepted on uh, eBay. So like I said before, this tool is available to anyone with uh, with an eBay account and uh, a seller account. So uh, it is free. It used to cost money. Most people don't realize it's here. It used to be called Terapeak. And most people have just not been aware that it actually exists. And so everyone's like, well, how do you find this information? How do you know this is true? Uh, well, it's into the research tab now. It used to be called Terapeak, like I said, and I've been using this for three, basically ever since it came, ever since uh, before eBay bought Terapeak to confirm these sales and uh, they have never been wrong. So uh, what I'll, I, I will also go, if I'm like for heat check and confirming stuff, I'll go and talk to the seller just to make sure, hey, was this a legit sale? Uh, obviously money was transacted, but uh, you know they returned it or whatnot, stuff like that. Um, cause just cause somebody made a, tr uh, you know, paid the transaction, if they returned it, it's going to still show up as sold. So, uh, it's not going to say, oh, this item was returned. It won't let you know that, but, um, this does help you. So remember, go to your eBay account research and product research is where all that information is. And you can get real actual sold prices from eBay. Now let's switch over to the phone so you can see how to access the same information on your cell phone. So using the eBay app, you're going to scroll down to where you see product research. Now this is a little confusing because they've done, I don't think they've done a very good job with this. It just says get started. It doesn't say like click here. It's, it's a little confusing. So what you want to do is you're going to click on click get started. Then you'll be on the page, the research products page, just like we were on, on the website. Let's type in, uh, let's type in, in this case, uh, Alice in chains t-shirt. Yeah, and we can see we have 90 days of the sales and the prices beneath, below it. We can search by highest price. And we can see there is a $975 Allison Chains t-shirt that was sold. So all this information is still here. It's under product research. Just scroll down on the main uh, selling page of your eBay app and you can find this information and find all the different tools that are available to you here. And these will tell you actual real prices for sold items, not just uh, best offer accepted with a line cross through. So this is also free. This is available to anybody with an eBay account and is set up to sell, So, uh, which is very easy to do. So uh, if you are looking for that information, look for better comps, use the product research uh, features they are very powerful. They go back three years. Hopefully, they'll be continuing to add year after year after year. 
uh, going forward. So we'll have lots and lots of records of prices paid. Um, and this can help you with comping stuff when you're finding old vintage clothing or new vintage clothing. Uh, all of it's here and it's been incredibly helpful. But know that uh, if you're looking to find out what the uh, bi-weekly uh, highest sales of vintage t-shirts and vintage denim. We do have that video that posts every week uh, with those items on this channel. So uh, subscribe to see those videos come through your feed and uh, hopefully you can enjoy them and keep you sort of aware of what the market is doing. So thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.